This is Kagando Hospital in Kisinga Town Council, Kasasa District, where we found Kibwana Mohindo lying on his hospital bed. Mohindo, a Congolese national, was on Sunday morning shot by a Ugandan People's Defense Forces officer attached to the 5th Battalion, Rusese, just half a kilometer from Uganda's borderline in Hisololo 1 village in Karambi sub-county. The security alleged that Mohindo crossed to Uganda through an unauthorized access point. Let them use the official crossing points that were put in place by the local authorities there. They are not demanding for passports. They are not demanding for a visa, a visa fees, but because it's a local arrangement of people here and people across. Those who go to Congo to transact big businesses use the official border at Mbono. Muhindo narrates that he bumped into the soldier after crossing the borderline at Maliba Abiri into Uganda to work at the Ugandan side of the border where he loads and offloads items from vehicles at Mpondwe Customs. Kasese Deputy Resident District Commissioner in charge of Bukonzo County, Lieutenant Mate Maguara, confirmed the incident. Magwara explained that the victim is originally a native of Kabarole village in Busongora sub-county in Beni district of the neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo, revealing that the UPDF soldier was arrested and is under police custody. So when he eventually saw the soldier following him, he decided to run away again. He was shot in the hip, and uh, as we speak, and, uh, the soldier was immediately apprehended uh, the, 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 the UPDF through the, its internal judicial systems will first investigate this matter to see who was in the wrong and who was not. And like this boy in particular is known to be a resident of that village across. Someone stands on the ground and says that he points at a home across and says that's their home. So there would have been no problem if he respected this soldier, this soldier's instruction the population around would have identified him and would have been let free. While at the hospital, Philemon Kule, the assistant surgical ward officer, explained that Muhindo is steadily responding to treatment. Uh, this patient was taken to theatre for a debridement. Then uh, we saw that uh, the condition is not so much bad. However, some bones were touched and when we were doing the debridement, we found that some fragments of the bones were found, were removed. Now currently the patient is improving and is responding on the medication. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.